What is up guys? Welcome to Extreme Delivery Drivers where we are always balling on a budget and wrenching in our garage and today we're going to do a video review. We are going to review this, the Hyperion, am I even saying that right, heads up display for your smartphone device. So I know what you guys are already thinking you're thinking to yourself, what is this and why do I need it? What this is is a little cradle that you put your smartphone in and it allows it to turn into kind of like a heads up display where you can go ahead and put it on your dashboard like in that little photo there. Um, but uh, yeah, let's open this thing up, see what's inside, see if it's cool, see if it's quality. Got this thing off of Amazon for 10 bucks. Let's see if it was worth it. So inside the box, here is the cradle that I was referring to, and it is really kind of uh, wrapped up here nicely so that it doesn't get any scratches on the plastic. And it's a good size. I have no doubt that my cell phone will fit on here. And then let's see what else is in the box. Looks like we get a little cleaning pad, a little non-slip grip pad, some directions, and also a nice little clear protector. So I got this thing out of the box and I got the wrappers off of it. And I'm pretty impressed with it quite honestly. I mean it's pretty substantial. And my cell phone, which is right about six inches, this is the Huawei SE Mate, fits in there. Look at that, pretty much perfectly. So, pretty excited to get this guy in the car, but before we do, there's another piece that comes with it. And that is one of these little kind of like sticky mats. So we'll put this on the dash. This thing will sit on top of this, and we'll have a nice secure mount for our little homemade heads-up display. Okay, so, everybody's car is going to be different. Everyone's dash is going to be different, but on my Cyan XP, it's great because i got lots of flat panels in here. And this thing can kind of go anywhere. I think right there is going to be the perfect spot to be honest with you. So now I'm going to do is peel away the plastic off of this little sticky mat. This isn't like a permanent installation. You put this down kind of where you want it. Um, you could always move it if you don't like where you're putting it. It's not going to damage your dash in any way. But it'll prevent the little heads up display thing from sliding around. Check that out. That's on there pretty good. There's a little mat underneath, and boom, that thing's pretty solid. So I just got finished downloading a couple HUD apps. The direction said you can use any app that you want. So let's see how this thing turned out. All right, so the first one I installed is actually one that's supposed to show miles and miles per hour. And I don't know about you, it looks a little dim. Is my phone asleep? No, my phone's on. Well, I don't know about you, I'm a little disappointed in that. I can barely read it. So that guy might not be a good one right there. Now we are in total full sun. But yeah, that is like impossible to read. That's, that's not going to work, man. That's not going to work. All right, I now have a navigation app open that is supposed to work with heads-up displays. And again, I don't know about you, man, but I can barely read that. It's actually more of a distraction than a help. So that's another big fail right there. But to be honest with you, I didn't get it for the cell phone. It's just gonna be kind of like a nice perk if it actually worked. The reason that I got this heads up display, cradle screen thing, whatever you wanna call it, is to work with my actual heads up display. So I know this windshield doesn't look all that impressive, but it actually is brand new. I got it replaced uh, a couple weeks ago, and in doing so, I used to have a kind of little reflective sticker that would sit on the glass, and when the windshield got replaced, the sticker got removed, and my little heads-up display that, that you see sitting back here now is reflecting right on the glass of the windshield, and that has basically become completely useless. It is actually on right now, and I bet you can't see anything. So that's why I got this little cradle in hopes that I'll be able to make this guy, the little skosh heads-up display, work with this guy and kind of solve all my problems and not have to put a sticker on the windshield. So I've been playing with this setup for a minute or two and I think I found kind of the perfect setup for this. Check it out. Now hopefully you guys can see that the miles per hour is very clear on there with the zero, the tachometer. Uh, it's a little hidden if I give the car some gas. You should be able to see it climb there on the top. That's no big deal. I really don't use the tachometer all that much. I just use the mile per hour, and I think this is going to work out pretty well. So I got the sticky pad on the bottom of the cradle, and I got my little skosh heads-up display sitting in there. Um, I think it's really secure. It's not going to go anywhere. And if we take a look at it on the outside of the car, 
it is not as offensive as the big circle that I used to have on my windshield. Um, kind of another nice thing that in the next couple days the windshield is going to get tinted. So hopefully that will also cut down on kind of the mirror appearance when you look at the car from the front. So that's going to do it for this one today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this little mini review of the Hyperion heads-up display. If you want to get one of these, go down in the description. There is a link. It was only $10. So who knows? Maybe you can find some better apps that will work for your cell phone. But for me, I'm super happy the way it works with my heads-up display. And I love the fact that if I want to move it around the dashboard, I still can. And don't have to worry about moving some sort of sticker that's stuck to the windshield. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that like button. We'll see you next time. Later.